Welcome back to another edition of the FSU Simicast. And it's been a hot minute. Uh, my laptop, little tangent here, side note. My laptop was in fucking Geek Squad uh, for about a week and a half. I'm going to sound really old here, but what the hell, man? They don't make stuff like they used to. Jesus fucking Christ. My laptop before this one, I had about two years. And uh, when it crapped out, I didn't get it fixed. I just said, fuck it, I'll get another one. It, it wasn't even that expensive. It was like a couple notches above the least expensive. But when I replaced it with my current one, I decided to get a little bit more expensive one. Uh, not top of the line by any means, but anyway, this thing just crapped out, powering out. I fucking get on HP support, uh, their website and shit, and go through that process. You know, Google some troubleshooting crap. Um, long story short, I found out that the manufacturer's warranty expired uh, a month ago. Of course, brand new laptop barely lasts over a fucking year. Uh, but thankfully, while I was doing that, I got a call from uh, the old lady that uh, was just calling to say what's up. And she's like, what are you up to? I'm like, I'm oh, working on this fucking laptop. She goes, oh, we bought the plan, boo. I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, fuck this. So I take it in. It, it, it said it was going to take two weeks. Uh, thankfully, it only took about, actually, I think it was going to take closer to three weeks. But it only took uh, about a week and a half. So I got it back. That's why I haven't been on here uh, in a little bit. But that's just a joke to me. Barely lasts over a fucking year. Anyways, sorry. I had to get that out the way. Uh, I just feel like an old man saying that, but they don't make shit like they used to. Anyways, what I'm on here to talk about. 2018 recruiting. No, not actual, like, how we doing? Where are we going? What are the targets? What, you know, what, here's what I wanted to say, because I'm seeing this all over Twitter, man. People are hand-wringing about who's going to commit, who's going to flip, who's going to stay, you know, are we going to fill posis this position of need or that position of need? It's fucking February, people. So those of you that um, maybe aren't big into recruiting and are thinking about you know, checking it out, don't do it right now. Don't. It's a waste of fucking time. It's a waste of time. Uh, first of all, the rankings, which, yes, nowadays they're, very, they're a lot more accurate than they were. But not this time of year. No, not this time of year. There's like a billion camps that'll kick off from like now throughout the summer where the evaluations on these players could change. You know, a guy could get bumped up a notch or get dropped down a notch. And then with the team rankings this time of year, there's so much variance. Uh, a team could get a, one blue chip player and suddenly they jump from 20 to 5 because guess what? There's not many teams that have more than a handful of recruits right now. And surprise, surprise, if you look at the uh, rankings right now, uh, the teams, uh, at least the, you know, big name teams that have the most recruits, they're at the top of the recruiting list. No, no, no surprise there. So do yourself a favor. Don't waste your time looking at rankings, wondering who they're going to get at the earliest, extreme earliest, maybe the end of summer, but not even then. As, as for myself, I usually will kind of see what's going on when I'm on my normal websites like Tomahawk Nation and and Knowles 24 7 I'll kind of have an idea like all right we got this many guys we're ranked here but who gives a shit because it's February uh, typically I just wait to really look hard at it uh, when the season ends because then there's nothing to do between the end of the season and the bowl game and then of course right after the new year it's like a sprint to signing day so I kind of recommend that for any of you people that are interested in recruiting don't really look that deep into it until December and then you can kind of look and see. And then after the new year, you can be like, all right, what are we going to finish with? Otherwise, don't worry about who's coming, who's going. Um, as it stands now, I think FSU's top five in recruiting. Again, it's early. I think four or five blue chippers. But that could change dramatically. That's why I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. FSU's got five of... Uh, there are eight guys that are blue chips or whatever whatever it is right now. But dudes could flip. A lot of shit could change. So uh, do yourself a favor and don't bother looking at 2018 recruiting. Uh, it's fucking almost a year away. Other than that, um, not a whole lot going on right now. Spring practice kicks off March 6th, so about two weeks. That's probably when I can actually get on here and talk about some more tangible things like position battles and <clears throat> things like that the depth chart 
all that jazz. Oh, I guess some other news and notes. Ryan Hofield, who was a backup center, he's left. Uh, I think he got his undergrad. He's going to go take a job somewhere and maybe pursue a master's, which wasn't shocking um, on Tomahawk Nation. Uh, they were at least one of the people that mentioned that he'd probably be a likely candidate to go. And the scholarship number, I think, assuming all these the uh, 2017 uh, commits qualify, I think it'll stand at like 91 scholarship players, and you need to get down to 85, uh, which that's not a huge deal. Six players, I'm pretty sure there'll be a player or two that'll get medically disqualified. Uh, you'll probably see another transfer, I'm sure. Probably another offensive lineman, to be honest with you. But when you have, you know, I think they're at 17 now, offensive linemen or something like that, you can afford to, to lose a lineman, especially one that's uh, projected to be a backup. So when spring kicks off, we'll have a better idea of who's staying, who's going, what the depth chart looks like. Uh, so that'll be fun uh, to talk about that. Other than that, if you happen to listen to this channel when I first started it in the summer, uh, I used to do some Cubs crap, hence the Cubby Knoll. And I, wa I wasn't sure if I was going to do any. But now that I'm seeing all this spring training stuff on my, on my Twitter feed, you know, pictures, articles about what's going on, um, I don't know, I might, I might change my mind. If, you know, I figured I'd be good till at least opening day, but now, I'm, you know, I'm clicking on all the spring training pictures and reading, you know, quotes and all, you know the shit that gets you in the mood for baseball. So there's a chance maybe when the spring training games like really kick off and get going uh, in March. Well, I think they actually get going this weekend, but once they really get going uh, like mid March and stuff and starters actually play more than like one fucking inning, then maybe I'll start talking about the Cubs. So if you're interested in that, look, for, look out for that. Maybe I should make a sub channel for that, but I'm probably lazy and just probably keep it on here. So if you see a, a notification that says something with the Cubs, and you, hey, go ahead and take a listen if you want. It's just kind of like this. It's off the cuff, me just bullshitting about about the Cubs and what's going on. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, so I know it sucks right now. It's a long off season, but again, don't waste your time looking at recruiting this time of year. It's far too early. It's just stupid. But look forward to spring practice. Because that, that should be fun. Anyways, that's it. That's all. I hope I didn't miss anything uh, as far as news and notes uh, in regards to FSU. But that's about it with the, the whole field piecing out. And um, I guess there was a handful of guys that got red-shirted, but they're pretty much all the guys you'd expect. Oh, Derwin James got red-shirted. People, don't be foolish to think <laughs> that means he's going to stay longer. Barring another injury this year, he's gone after this year. All right, well, thank you for listening. Uh, if you're a first-time visitor, feel free to subscribe. And this has been another FSU Simicast. I'm out.